The caribou region really has an abundance of different types of fisheries. You can fish real small creeks, you can fish river mouths going into the lake, and I realized pretty quick that this is a world-class trout fishery. I've never seen anything like this before. It is insane. Something I feel really fortunate to experience. This is some National Geographic stuff right here. There's a couple nice bull trout in there, a couple nice rainbow. Feeding on uh, eggs first, and uh, with the amount of salmon in here, they're plenty full. So you just have to put it right on their nose and keep bugging them until they take it. Oh, he's, he's interested. Oh, 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 oh. Hit her twice. <laughs> Still had her in me. Just waiting for it to become heavy and I let it get away. Right above him, right above him. I grew up trout fishing, so that is where my roots are and it's pretty cool to stray away from the steelhead fishing for a bit and get back into where the roots first grew. I love fishing. I've fished since as long as I can remember and there's so much incredible beauty here that the second I stepped into the water I was just like in awe. This place is incredible. It feels pretty raw here. You feel out, out there, for sure. And that's, that's hard to find these days. I'm gonna head out and catch some fish right away here. Hey, that sounds awesome. 15 minutes to your first fish. That's my call today. Holy. I'm gonna give you this fly here. You won't see that in a supermarket. No, you sure won't. Is that a home tie? Yeah. Very cool. It's articulated, it drives them crazy. There it is. Oh my God. That was, oh. I think it's a ball. All right. Yeah, dude, what an epic fish. Thing hammered it. So cool. He, he knows where the fish are. Told you 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I don't even think it took that long. We go fish those river mouths with Doug and holy, we were just getting them. It, it was borderline every cast. Whoa, they jump here pretty good. Yeah. They got great colors here, eh? Such beautiful fish, man. Oh my God. Beauty. Yeah. Look at how beautiful that fish is. First cat. Hey, now we're in a hole. Now awesome. let's get her, found her. Get some knuckles on this one. I love trout fishing. It's so much fun. I was really blown away with how hard a 14 inch rainbow fought. It, it really pulled. It's fighting for its life. This is the best. I mean, we're smashing rainbows, small ones, and now we're switching to the big guys, eh? It's great fishing, it's solid everywhere. What do you think? Oh my God, I'm having the best time. I haven't done anything like this ever, it's incredible. Fishing's part of it. The wilderness, the whole experience. We've got so much to offer in our country here, right? The, the beauty that God's given us in this world, absolutely fantastic. I'm just glad I get to experience it with people. People feel like they want to go catch big rainbows and chill with grizzly bears, and they have to go to Alaska for that. And I realized pretty quick here that you don't have to go all the way to Alaska to experience that. Like, grizzly bears taking salmon off the bank, up in the river mouths, and we're right there fishing. 
What an epic little bear. Eh? He's young, but three and a half years old. You can tell by his size. He's been probably on his own now just for the summer. And he's enjoying himself. He's trying to get his place in the hierarchy of things out here. Alaska and BC. So epic. <laughs>